Cowboy Bebop is an anime by Sunrise that's honestly such a really fun and action-packed anime filled with not only tons of unique worlds to explore thanks to your sneak fun of sci-fi, westerns, and film noir, but man, it just captures that spirit of adventure via having our bounty hunting main characters hunt down and defeat baddies. And speaking of baddies, yeah! Why not hunt down some baddies on my own? <laughs> So is that just my adorable mascot Timmy the Taco? Aw, oh, but... <laughs> eh, close enough. Let's freaking do this! The first game is Cowboy Bebop Shuzoku no Serenade by Bandai on the PlayStation 2. And after witnessing this really awesome recreation of Cowboy Bebop's iconic opening using the 3D models of this game, as well as witnessing this cussing of Spike punching the heck out of the security guard, BAM! Look at that crowd reaction! <gasps> fight! 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 Anyway, we get into the tutorial level featuring our trusty companion Ned, who teaches us all sorts of things in his 3D fighter, such as performing combos, performing action buttons, quick attacks, room techniques, and... <laughs> We're going on an adventure! We're to the security guard's fist! Your turn now! Oh, oh, wham! Admittedly, the graph function is pretty useless in this game. But still, come on, Invisible Wall Slam? What's not to love about that? <laughs> uh, where'd he go? Whoa! And you'll want to escape for more, as despite being the baddies by a hand combat and doing cheesy action commands, you get thrown into the shooting segment where you can dive, slow mo action, and shoot your way to victory. And what the baddies are? the smartest, there's still a ton of fun to be had here. And hey, the fun's not over, as after defeating these baddies, we find out, oh no, the door is locked and needs a password in order to open it. Gee whiz, where could the password be? But you won't need a password to understand the main reason why we're in this aquarium in the first place is because of this thief who is trying to steal this fish, and has pretty much done this long-term plan, hiring goons and bodyguards and struggling everything perfectly until wham, we come to the miss and stop him. Jewish's responses. Let us lace, make him drown, boom, dead, leading us to get some praise from the Big Shot TV show, who promotes this nest baddie we need to capture, boom, level 2, Doomtown, which honestly looks a lot like California, but I do if it's that, I mean, something tells me Californians knows how to use doors right. The frick is wrong with you? <laughs> I just gotta say, I these goons. On one hand, they can be extremely organized people, perfectly constructing obstacles in a way in order to stop us from progressing. And on the other hand, LOL, we cornered him to a tight space. Instead of getting up on him, let's attack him one on one. Yeah, you go, Jerome. Needless to say, another solid fun level. And there's more fun to be had with yell another locked door with a poor piece of patchwork to figure out. With this time, the only hint is the words Merry Christmas written on the wall. Hmm. What does Merry Christmas remind me of? Presents. I love living in the present moment and consider this world a gift. Therefore, by process of being the latest main genius I am, <gasps> whatever lies behind the door is a gift. <laughs> All the smarts and you still work at Taco Bell. Not gonna lie, this reverse chase chambers was pretty fun. But still, that's not how Jesus worked. That barrel totally flew up without any contact. Because if that's how barrels work, I wanna take 
everyone look at this nonsense and went wee! And speaking of wee, we kidnapped a bandy. Then accidentally let him escape and somehow missed him with a gun despite him taking the time to taunt us. But who cares as we get to play as Jet now? Who's essentially a slower, more powerful version of Spike? And after the version away towards, uh... Theater? Spell time. And honestly, it just felt like an overpowered version of a goon that can cause earthquakes and summon stage like down for some reason. Oh, and look at that jump. Wait, why did he jump? Hey Timmy, what sound did the gun make? <laughs> It. Which moves us into level 3, Kung Fu Street, to which we pretty much do a similar song dance to the last level, with this time the goons upgrading their door bursting skills into second story window busting skills. A bit in which I won't be mocking. <laughs> I said we won't mock this bit, but you will mock the fact that despite this level being called Kung Fu Street, this level is filled to the brim with tanks and wrecking balls with, well, something. <laughs> and who's this mysterious baddie we've been chasing throughout the level to capture? No way, Jose! And <laughs> Dean, Jose got some skills, which apparently includes somehow not falling off the rap in the waters despite constantly punching him off the edge. Like, hell! Hell! <laughs> We kidnap him, but this level isn't over yet, as we also need to run away from this girl with a giant machine gun chasing us now, who leads us into this room in which we are... <laughs> Playing soccer? Woo! Eric is going at your service. Hold the mask step. Level 4, Ulan Town will make the news as well. As there are a ton of new mechanics thrown here as well. We're talking goons that upgraded from street thugs to the mafia. though, as well as now being able to play as Faye and doing this really fun flying segment in which we are chasing each other down while dodging icicles. Twist, whoosh, what? How did it get past this wall? Did they construct it while flame from us? The most interesting change has to be now having companions to protect as well, with Blankia actually being a useful companion. Can on the other hand... <laughs> Stop staying there and actually do something! <laughs> well, I did say something, but still. Anyway, while leading our companions to safety, we end up in an U-Bahn, to which we were going on top of the train. Woo! This is gonna be awesome! Oh, come on, don't tell me that watching epic action movies on guys flying on trains did not make you pumped up inside for this. Anyway... Oh, you're approaching me! Come at me, fiend! Don't worry though, generic action fans, as level 5, Ulan Town of Seekro, has more fun action. Dealing with bosses who think staying on easily break for science is a good idea, and <gasps> the goons now upgraded into the motherfucking squad squad? To which our response was to... Eh, run away! Run away! Ah, <laughs> ah, We got kidnapped, and after...
We are now tasked with sneaking our way out of this prison. Leading us to do our first stealth mission. And my goodness, this is one of my favorite missions. As not only did you need to use constant clues to ensure you're not just... Well, put into this awkward situation, but you're doing really fun things such as taking out baddies silently one by one by sneaking through vents, to which if you walk normally, boom, caught. So, how do I combat this? Well, initially, I tilted the movement button slightly, but nice to see that it didn't go too well. You tried tilting every remote perfectly. So, my miss method was... <laughs> Spamming the move button quickly, which surprisingly worked somehow. And yeah, after all that sneaky stuff, shopping more codes, and making my way towards the exit. Escape and boom, chapter 6, which pretty much does the same gimmick as the last chapter, but with Spike and Blankia instead. And if you thought sneaky missions were as the sign as the game gets, oh boy, not only are you constantly dodging and shooting bullets from a bird's eye perspective and solving even more complex projects in this chapter, but hey, there are segments with Jet as well. And man, the Jet segments in this chapter is just a treat. I mean, not only are you doing these really fun boat escape levels, I mean, look at that jump. But you also, get this, having the freedom to explore a 3D reconstruction of Cowboy Bebop's iconic shift, uh, well, Bebop. And when I say you could explore everything, I mean it. Sure, we only have 20 minutes to explore it before it all goes boom, as there are bombs sitting throughout the Bebop we needed to disarm, but still, damn, was this such a treat for us Cowboy Bebop fans. Heck, inspire me to invite you guys to my epic sassy game base. The coordinates are listed here right below. And from there, the rest of the game pretty much features the typical fighting and boss battles we come to know and love from this game until we get to the final level, Battleship. To which, after flying our way in, dealing with astral goons and laser cameras, we make our way towards the most deadly boss yet. Okay, joking aside, man was this guy hard. Remember when I said a drawing function was useless earlier? Well, apparently it's not now. As the only way, yes, the only way to damage him is to grab him and wham, slam him into the electrical boss. Yeah! Damn! Stop moving! Stop moving! Anyway, this entire adventure leads us to the final, final boss battle, Ronald. To which, for our final boss battle, honestly, it felt like fighting another goon with a ton of health. You're going down to die! Boom, we defeat the final boss. Boom, see you, Space Cowboy. Boom, credits. Boom, seven hours and 30 minutes of fun completed. And we thought that was the end. Well, you're wrong. As with all the bounty money you collected with this game, you can buy artwork and music, as well as partaking in a hard and bullet-free mode of this game, explore around the Bebop more BIA playing this Ein, and playing this really fun shooter mode as said. Other than that, that was Cowboy Bebop on the PS2. Whoa. Wait, what? Should not have leaked my coordinates. And we're gonna get it back. Oh. Thankfully, in this Cowboy Bebop game, Cowboy Bebop on PlayStation 1 by Bandai is a 3D spaceship shooter. And after, oh no, somebody shot our beloved Bebop, we got on a spaceship and boom, scene one, kin strike. And man, this is another really solid, fun time. You have lasers and bullets to shoot down baddies with, as well as a whole variety of dodge options like tilting and moving your pilot, as well as my personal favorite element, having a Cowboy Bebop characters cheering you or criticizing your pilot skills throughout the level. <laughs> And if you thought that was fraud, the boss battle in this level is so hard, like, eh, there's no room whatsoever to defeat this baddie. I'm constantly bonking into this mofo, because guess what, that's the only way I'm able to shoot him. And guess what, if you die at the boss, boop, 
Beginning to feel level to you. Honestly, though, is not too bad. As pretty much all the levels have divergent paths with multiple sceneries and enemies to explore, which I absolutely love. For example, one side has a peaceful water scenery, and the other, boom, boom, on attack. And between that and the uh, money you earn in between each level to upgrade and charge your weapons, man, it's just a quick and charming game. It's only six levels. You can literally complete this game in under an hour. But man, besides feeling like you're fighting boss battles in the bathtub, great job, game. You know exactly what Cowboy Bebop is all about and i love you for it with that out of the way we be every cowboy bebop video game let's get our jam back <laughs> rewind to what i said earlier <laughs> cowboy bebop on place the one by bandai is a 3d spaceship shooter Ta-da! Let's go! Honestly, Timmy is not just about the jam collection, it's about going on adventures and taking risks. Sure, risk can equate to failure, but if we're smart and work together on this, I just know we can get our jam collection back. So, please, let's do this. Together. Thanks. I really appreciate that. I think it's time we blow these carrots, get the jam back, and save the world. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, jam! Mm. Well, frick. Hmm. <gasps> hey, you. Do you consider yourself a goon? Yes. <laughs> so, I added a new jam to the collection. <laughs> carrot jam. <laughs> but will it be carrot jam in the next episode of Eric Does Everything? No. But it will be bubblegum. That's right, the next episode of Eric Does Everything will be on the bubblegum crisis games. Well, until next time, sign your motherfucker.